Dungeons and Dragons, the patient zero for the RPG genre. A game well known enough that saying the world's most popular role playing game is an effective shorthand for it. And now in its fifth edition of play as of late 2014. When I started these reviews on YouTube, one of the goals I had was to avoid talking about D&D and other fixtures of the hobby because I thought they were done to death. And with this review, I've broken that rule. But as the saying goes, there is a method to this madness. Now for those of you who have been living under a rock for the last 40 years, D&D is arguably the first tabletop role-playing game in terms of popular culture. Created by Gary Gygax and Dave Arneson of Tactical Studies Research, it has endured through controversy, bankruptcy, and several editions, expansions, and reworkings. Its newest edition was released in mid-2014 with the starter set, the player's handbook, monster manual, and Dungeon Master's Guide coming out in later months. I have been following 5th edition since it was first revealed as D&D Next, and its subsequent playtests. Now I will not be reviewing the playtests in this series, but I will simply state that they were an exercise in frustration, the reasons why I will get into later on. To be as thorough as possible, I will be looking at the starter set and the three main books, ending with a summary of my take on the whole thing. Furthermore, I will only be making comparisons to previous editions or other RPGs when necessary to establish a point. I will not be discussing any notions of does it feel like D&D or does it feel like old school play, because those are arguments that cannot be made objectively. The crux of my review's hypothesis, if you will, is does 5th edition live up to the promise of uniting the editions that it frequently claimed and why and or why not? I bring this up because this was the primary selling point presented to me throughout the development cycle. And the fact that I kept hearing greatest hits of the editions with this game makes my hypothesis warranted. Trust me, I'll get to that claim later on. Naturally, this is a game that's been lauded and eviscerated over the years, and this new edition is no exception. It's been covered a lot, suffice to say. I've made the conscious choice to not see what most of the other reviews have said, so this will strictly be my take on this new edition. Maybe their take is better or worse, but I can at least be honest with you and say that this take is no one else's but mine. As a final note, could someone please explain to me how releasing the three main books months apart from each other is a good thing to get people started in playing this game? Because I can't see it as anything more than blatant market stretching, especially when its predecessor didn't pull this sort of crap. With that said, the following parts in this review will take a look at the starter set and then the three main books. So with that out of the way, let's begin.